This tomato sauce was going to be super simple. To make some tomato sauce to add on dough, focaccia, anything we decide to stick in the oven and bake. Pomodori! <laughs> yeah, just say pomodori! Pomodori! Uh. Just oil, garlic, peeled tomatoes, salt and pepper, and yummy dried chipotles. The most distinctive ingredient being the live yeast. And now that our 12 volt Dometic is up and working again, that meant that we could actually open the package of these little guys and keep them alive after. A spoon of sugar, a little gentle mixing, and the yeast was proofed. I'm cooking pizza because I saw someone make pizza the other day and I was like, yeah, I wanna have some pizza. More flour, salt, and stirring. and then add some oil to protect it from drying out while it's left to rise. We were looking for a name that would suit these two pizzas because I'm sure we're angering some professionals out there calling these pizzas at all. Yeah. Donkey dicks. <laughs> okay, what's another way we can name this pizza? Horse dicks. The first one in. Pizza duo? It kind of uh, starts it from being too fluffy. It also lets the sauce get in nicely into the bread. For each batch that day, we wanted to try something a little different each time. This time, simply a little bit of green onion. The disaster pizza. Huh? The disaster pizza didn't turn out. It's like a focaccia. Two disasters. Round two. This is some bonus banana breads. Robbie made himself some pig and blankets as well. Despite the so-called failure, there wasn't much to complain about. Eating pizza is one of my favorite things. That's a recipe for a different day. Yucatan banana bread. Pizza soda. That's real pizza pie. The final batch we used Bonito Flakes to create an anchovy style classic. The other favorite thing of mine is dumplings. The ingredients are extremely simple as well. Flour, most kinds of flour will work. A pinch of salt and an egg, but only if you like. Knead it until smooth. Let 
it rest in a cool place for a couple of hours or as long as you can spare, and then prep some vegetables. Whatever you have left lying around works, but green onions and ginger are the key flavors. This thing looks a little weird, I have to admit. It's gonna look different in a bit. It's not gonna look so suspicious. The dough can be cut into many other kinds of shapes, but I'm finding that circles work best for me. I'm not shy about using extra flour to keep the skins from sticking to each other. A little bit of water on the tips help to seal the dumplings closed. My favorite seasonings include soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, and chili sauce. To make cooking a lot easier in the galley, we just received from our supporter Louis some lights and connectors to illuminate the galley and head. Yeah, these are better. We will be connecting a new length of 16 gauge marine wire from the bus bar at our electrical backbone to two lights in the galley. We just need to dig for some small screws as usual and then pick a good spot for the lights. This, this is the radio wire. This is the RX-8 radio wire that has been put all the way back to the boat. Right now, what's going to the bathroom will be lighting and power for the kitchen. Robbie crimped the ends and then sealed by heat shrinking and melting the glue. These will be the first lights that we install in this part of the boat, so there's plenty of room on the bus bars to spare. The only problem is the color scheme of the wires coming out from the lights. The white wire is negative and the black wire is positive. They're going to be sharing a power source. I'll have to run a second wire. While the rest of our wires are black negative and red positive. The black is positive and this goes to this. So, so this OCD compared might be crazy for the next 10 years on this boat. Why don't they just make black negative, red positive? <laughs> you're not getting zapped by having the lights on while you're doing this. It's of course safer nope. to have everything turned off while completing your 12 volt electrical circuit. It's black to black to red and white to black. Brighter than it was. Everything was connected nicely, and it was just a matter of heat shrinking the connections and fastening down the wires.
Thanks for watching Life Aboard SV Inez. We'll see you next time.